있고 그래서 프리징을 잠깐 틀어보면 네. Fritching, so, so this is the uh, after I open Fritching, and then you can change the language setting and other thing in preferences tab, and you can change your language in general tab. Also, you can actually change uh, all other settings here, but there's not so much things you need to change. Very cool, I'm saying. And then uh, the one that we love to use is actually uh, schematic and PCB. Actually, basically, when you design uh, your electronic boards, actually, uh, people like to use schematic. The schematic just shows the essence of really the electric connection in in form of diagram. It is more critical to understand the underlying structure or the mechanism. It's weird that I did. Of how the how the electronic devices work, and what we need to understand is that so first of all, uh, so what we are going to select is this one. So this one is known as uh, now. Okay, let's just uh, search it. So what I'm going to search is uh, you can actually search it. So I just kind of search it uh, AT Mega. And then you proceed it 80 mega related one. This black thing is known as microcontroller. So I just bring it here. And actually, this one is the how the schematic of uh, 80 mega looks like. So and then and then it's PCB version shows how does it look like. So and then uh, something really critical point is actually this one. So when you see uh, this board, uh, something you need to be careful is that uh, what is critical in this one? Offside, downside. This one is probably the one of the most confusing part for you. So the issue is that we are going to add our microcontroller here, but we solder the backside. The PCB board is the backside of right? So that's the so it's kind of difficult to understand but you have you have to always meter the location of each pin to each device so when we design it we design in front way so remember what is working is front way but what is actually we are going to fabricate is the back side so that's the first part and actually if you go a little bit more advanced you can actually design both sides uh, to save the space. And then many, many occasions, you will have, a, so once you add more sensors or devices, it's possible to design that one layer is not enough. You need additional layers to electrically connect it. So that's why you need to double side it. So here, as you see here, is that you can actually, so two, so far, two match. So now schematic is on this vertical way and PCB is on horizontal way. So you can actually rotate it when you design to match it. And then here you see that this one is now the, the screen that you're going to see is this view from the top side and this one is from the bottom side. And this one even uh, we confused a lot. So like after we finished the ultimate double room and we realized how oh, we, we benefited from this always be careful this one and then here is that the connection is so this one is simply viewing and this one is a uh, bottom layer top layer or both layer meaning that when you connect electricity this one is actually where is the workable area meaning that if you connect any device here it could be either upside or either downside and then if you limit the connection in bottom layer or whatever you connection you make is all on the bottom side. So what I'm going to do is I will design by watching the top side, but I physically when I connect it, I use only bottom side as I trade. And then auto uh, this one is auto root is it will automatically generate uh, this, so this one is kind of this you got a lot of that strange curve is something what we designed. And actually it has a function that automatically generated, but switching so auto, auto routing function is not that great. 
So if you want to use it, if you you can use eagle. Also, there's eagles, also rockets, whatever can be good. Still, nobody is of the function. Even if you may use as a first graphic design to auto crafting, you have to not trust it. You have to always double check. Okay, then when we export it to PCB, uh, you can export it as uh, PDF, SVG, and Java file. I will explain this one later. So now here, we just bring it uh, one microcontroller here, like this. And then this one is exactly what we are doing. We are watching from the top view, but we are going to design it the bottom layer. So when you check about it, so now forget about <coughs> pin one, pin two, pin three. There's no such thing because we are not going to use Arduino anymore. What we really depend on is this one is port C6 reset button. And this one is port D0 RX pin, port D1 TX. So now we are we want to use the native name of this Arduino. And all this information is as in actually this uh, 8K mega spec sheet. And then actually you are going to find the large PDF. And then you're going to depend on this from that. So here, what we said is, oh, this one is actually a 70 version. The IP version. So I oh, this one is a different model. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so manufacturer of the chip is Atmel. And then Atmel 80 mega, 3 to 80. Sometimes P and sometimes you don't say P, so it's kind of minor uh, differences. Uh, but we can use either of them. So this one, uh, I will just search with PDF. So this one, 8 mega for the microchip technology. Um, 18 mega for the P. That's this one, the same one. Yeah, okay, I'll just double check with uh, DIP. But the IP version. Okay, here is actually we will explain both of them. So this one is the one that we need to reference it. So this one is number one, reset, number two is uh RX TTX, which is the same thing. With this one, RX, this one is PD2, INP0. And if you want to see a little bit simplified version, just you can just go to Arduino.cc and then you need to reference to the hardware, the pin diagram, hardware, Arduino. Go to hardware. Okay, this is the same. Went over six hundred pages of description. Here is the pin number, the same thing we have seen so far. Or you can also simply go back to Arduino. You can see here. So this one is slightly confusing, but actually the uh, reset 3.3 is actually corresponding to the same pin. And then also there is a schematic PCB design here. So let's kind of check a little bit. So we are going to use, so what something familiar with us is the pin 13, which is the digit, 
the pin that we use L, the built-in LED. So that one is 28 actually, and PC5. And then something important is that the VCC is where the units offer five volts. So actually here, this little pin is five volts and ground. So this one, you just kind of connect from your Arduino. As you see here, I use this five volt and three point three. So I'm just using Arduino as a kind of power adapter, and it was connected to here. <laughs> but if you have another, you know, uh, bike cell phone charger, which is also five volts, you can use that one directly. So something you need to remember is VCC and ground. <clears throat> and as you see that here, there's another AVCC and ground. And VCC and ground is actually uh, supply power on the left side of it. And AVCC and ground, ground over vertice uh, power to on the right side. So meaning that if you only connect VCC here and ground, it will not offer power to this side. So what you have to do, you need to connect VCC and AVCC together. And actually, internally, ground and ground are, I know that it's interconnected too. However, still, it is wise to connect this ground and this ground together. And A reference is actually is a code that's vertex reference, meaning that, so here's the thing. So this one is, well, this one is operated by five voltage. But five voltage can be achieved by difference between 12 <clears throat> to seven or five to zero. Each are also five voltages, but they are two different references. So you have to match. So if you use kind of sometimes you can use 12 volts and then voltage divider and five volts. And then all, you can have a five volt reference. So the reference is when you actually connect two different five volts with different level, you need to use reference. Uh, but I recommend in this space, not to use it. This is kind of like another story. Okay, so let's do this one first. Uh, so here in here, so let's identify, but this one is kind of difficult to see which one is which unless you really point it. But in schematic view, you know everything is already pre-marked. So what I do is I will connect VCC to A, B, C, C together. So, but this one is kind of a side by side here. So I just, uh, so then actually what I'm going to do is I'll try to use this pin. So this one, you need to find it as, there are many different names. I just find probably pin, pin, and you don't see it generally. And another name of this one is actually called jumper. I put it. Let's just find it if there is a good one. Now, what kind of pizza does it show to us? Or I'll just find male pin. Oh, yeah, here. So I just find this one. Oh, this one is actually header. So actually, I just find header. So now I kind of see a uh, header here. And then if once I select it, you probably see that oh, this one is, let's kind of take a look at it. Family is part one pin header and variant is that it is SMD. SMD is actually, I told you that this one is circuit mount device. But what we need to find, and it is this one, okay, let me just drag it here temporarily. Uh, this one doesn't allow me to change it. So I just find, I need to find another header. Uh, Let's say I will just go to four. Okay. 
So this is a header six. So definitely there's another header one, two, three, five. Let me just search the header one. Which one? Uh, um, yeah, uh, the, the second one on this line. Oh, no, I can. Oh, okay, okay. Doctor, oh, thank you. This is the header. Let me just drag it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this one is header. The name was a jumper. Thank you very much. And then, so as you see that this one. Now you can change a lot of different type. And then what I would do is actually you can, if you change it, you can have a lot of different options and different sizes. And so this one is one by 10. So I just use two pass header and you can, you can change the size of it in a many different ways. So for now, I just simply use one, even you can just use one by one. And actually, I just kind of prefer to use it even one by one than one by two. So then here, I would also uh, rotate it to change the direction. And probably I connect this one and VCC. So now you see that this one is uh, connected to VCC diagrammatically. If you take a look at about PCB, this is going somewhere else. So what I do, yes, we have to go back and forth, and then we need to change uh, this kind of process back and forth again. So now we see that jumper number is kind of, uh, then actually you can change the name here, just click it, and then you can uh, change the name here as, let me see, now we can change the number, so I just here, VCC jumper. So now you can change that. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure you can do it. This one only. So I just look at there. And then I kind of connect this one to, or I just connect this one to a middle it and I connect it. So now VCC and VCC is connected together and this is connected to VCC out. So now you see that this one is internally connected. So now, now I, I kind of wait for this one. I just control C, control V, and I just kind of bring it back to the uh, ground. And I also connect this one, A ground and ground. Now, if you take a look at our PCB, now, okay, so. This one looks okay. However, one bad thing is that this one is crossed. So we need to find a way not to cross. But this one basically is so far finished. These now let's continue. So now actually the assumption is that we are just going to a uh, really simple one, which is we are going to add maybe uh, one LED the visible blink, which is the easiest to level. And then let's add uh, one LED. And then if you cut out LED, you can actually find just Google with LED. And this one is color LED. So probably there's one. So this one is actually a simple LED here. But once I bring it, so we have an LED, but this one is, as you see, it says anode. Anode is actually minus. And this one, if you click the, the other side, this plus. Do you remember how do you connect a node that so we are going to use pin 13. We don't know because this one doesn't really offer what is pin 13. So here what it says was 13, which is ADC5. So we need to find ADC5, which is ADC3. <coughs> Five is this one. So pin 28 is actually 
the pin 13. And then this one supposed to be connected to the plus way. So I would rather, and then the minus need to go to somewhere like. So this one is electrical connection. Doesn't look so great, so let's clean up. So I just rotate it. And then I would rather bring it to a little bit sideways so I kind of see it clearly. And then this one looks more nicer. But this one only shows electrical connection. To get extra physical connection, now this LED is so far exists here. So I would also here, I would rotate. And then this one actually automatically shares the minus position. It's lined up here. And then here, this one, uh, this one is actually the shape of, uh, I don't know. Do you see kind of little bit of here? The, the shape of oval shape? This one is actually the shape, so you can actually see. The screen over here. So we can actually rotate the direction of it <clears throat> or easier to solder it. So I would rather this one I select it and also rotate it outside. So kind of let's make it a little bit easier to solder it. All right, so this one so far we connected, we finished VCC. Ground and actually let's change the name of it because this is not VCC. I just double click it. Actually, this one is actually GMP. So this is GMP, this one is LED. Now over stop to be watching from the top side. Okay, so now actually this yellow line is actually we are only activated. Bottom line, so actually this connection doesn't exist on the top side, so it's the inside. And the difference between this dot line and this orange line is that by connecting this one, this one now I kind of create a physical connection. This physical connection is this line here. So the dot line does not really have it, but now the orange line means I have to create this connection. And actually, this one is good enough. However, I can change the physical setting, which is once I select it, this one says wire 84. And it says this one uses standard wire 24 millimeter, but you can even make it thicker or thinner. But now in our case, beginner's case, I recommend for you to use a thicker wire that will have more safer uh, connection. And now here, once I double click it, now you see that this one's changed to colored one. I just keep on to that. If you just simply double click it, it will automatically generate it. However, I also use extra big one. And now here we have a problem. So I think this one is okay. Then we are going to thicken the line. Now this one is problematic because it will cross each other. This one's electrically correct. So once I double click it and change that, but after that, you have to design it. So now, uh, not this one, I just selected this one again and they create a red line. And actually I bring it back outside. And I actually, I kind of make them unconnected and then here i just actually bring it somewhere in the middle so now actually i avoid any connection and then here and then actually in this case if i thicken this line the concern that i may have is that this middle line may intercept may interrupt another at this point so what i do is i a little bit cleaned up so actually I avoid any accidental connection. And then also I just double click this one and then also change it to this. So now this one is looks okay. 
a little bit unnecessarily large. So I just kind of a little bit make it. Uh, uh, we don't finish it yet. So we need to continue the lettuce here. So my suggestion, uh, so this one is your first attempt to CV, and you need to upload your Arduino code. There will be another technical code. So if you want to do, and this one is already uh, sophisticated enough. It looks very simple, but once you do that, I believe that this one will take at least five hours. However, I believe that you are more aggressive students. <laughs> Let's add one more. So now the basic thing is that we are going to add a variable register. So uh, instead of digital output, uh, so this one is so far good. So if you're okay, it's done. <laughs> However, let's jump into a little more sophisticated. So pin 13 is only for this term input and output. Let's switch it to analog output. PWM. To use PWM, uh, let's say that we need to check which pin you can use PWM, and PWM is actually we need to use ABC. So it's kind of a little bit strange. Pin 13 can use ABC. It's supposed to not to be. Oh, let me just double check. Pin 13 can use ABC. Let's just double check. So, so far, actually, uh, PWM is ABC. No, actually, not really. It doesn't really make sense at all. So, actually, Oh, the header is here. So actually, <coughs> this one is not uh, pin 13 at all. So it was wrong. Pin, let me just double check what was that. Just double check. So pin 13, sorry that I was wrong. Pin 13, PC5. Pin 13 was PB5, port B5. So I need to correct it. So I need to go to here. Put B5. So I said, uh, put, put B5 is here. So sorry that it's your LED. This one, I delete it. This one is the, actually the pin 13. So I need to put it back here. Then So to delete it, I just deleted this one. So I was wrong. Pin actually 13 is actually here. So what we have to do is I have to move it back. And delete it for now. And I have to rotate it. So this one looks okay. Then now actually uh, I have to change everything. So this is pin 13. So instead of this one, I have to delete it. This one is deleted. I have to connect here. Here. And this one. Yes. And then actually, we cannot really use this cross area. So I would rather find another way. Probably I would use. I have to actually uh, take a low path around it. So probably I have to move it here. And this one is here. So probably this one is rather the right design. And I just change this one here. And just so just make to be sure. I just try to do two more times. So I just bring it here. Outside of it, this one is even better. So this one is even better. Uh, so this one, I just make it thicker. Change this 
information a little bit and make it this one bigger. So, so actually this one is a little bit confusing. So I just double check what's going on inside and electrically everything looks okay. So meaning that it's okay. This part. So actually this one is supposed to be the one if I just a little bit clean up, I will just move it this one inside here and then shrink a little bit unnecessary size. So this one is actually the blinking circle that we may have it. And if I a little bit make it nicer, I just move this one a little bit inside. And then this one is actually the PCB, the design. And then this is the size, the material that we needed to this blinking design. And then roughly the size is actually here, it says 2.8 millimeter, 0.35. To change this one, you need to also change the unit into millimeter. Let's say this one is PCB view. I think unit is, Double check. Yeah, okay, so by double clicking inch and millimeter, we can switch that. And then now it's 71 something, so I just kind of round up. So 70, and instead of doing eight, I just set it as 10. So we can actually have a nice, simple PCB sign, PCB size that you can easily remember. So this one is 10 by a 70 by 10. 70 by 10, okay. Oh, this one is location. Uh, where is the size? Okay, so here is the size of it. Yeah, so here I just said it here. This one is 26, so I just changed to 30. And height is 42, I changed to 45 or something easy to remember, I changed to 50. Roughly, this is the PCB board that you're going to make. Yeah. Uh, this one is simple enough, but this one is your first uh, setting, so I just save it as your first. Save as desktop. So this one is uh, your first PCB, and I save as simply is it per pin? So this one is so far the simplest form that you can make it easily. Now let's add up. <clears throat> so instead of now, now let's change that. Instead of using this is per pin, I would love to actually use ADC. So let's say that we can use PWM. PWM is actually here D3, D5, D9, and here. And then to the the uh, smallest number is D3, which is P D3, port D3. So here, port D3 is actually port D, A, B, C, D3. Actually, this one is the, actually the uh, uh, PWM pin 3. So I just delete this one. And now I connect also this one, port D3 to here. Just to make it a little bit nicer, I just connect nice here. The reason why this left here is that we have a physical connection in PCB mode. So going back to PCB, uh, I just delete this one. So now we realize that the position is supposed to be somewhere here. So probably I need to change it here. Then probably I change the design a little bit differently. And then we need to create a disconnection. So to do that, I just bring it here. I just kind of move it a little bit outside so we can easily solder it and then click this one. I just make a physical wire and then make it thicker. And then instead of doing this, I do like this. So this one is actually using PWM. So you can use your analog pin. But again, um, 
this is really confusing. Uh, you have to concentrate on it, and then you have to always double check that numbers are correct again and again. Now, so but so now we can use anal uh, analog out, but let's just use potential meter <coughs> to be more fun. So let's say potential meter. Then actually there are many. Uh, let's, just, let's just pick something simple, one trimmer potential. And now you probably don't know how to set, how to select one. One thing, uh, just check about the specification here. So THT means is actually pin type through core type. So which is actually, you can actually uh, put it, uh, go through, you're going to make a hole and you can put it on here. And this one is that try pot five millimeters. So if this one is SMD, it's of this mount. So we are not going to use it. This one is three millimeter two, three millimeter. This one is not so sure. This one is linear, this is a suitable type. So uh, you can, I would rather select that this one looks quite nice to me. And then uh, when you take a look at this one, let's go to uh, schematic, uh, schematic. So now, whether you remember or not, we are going to connect five volts and ground either side. And then the middle one is supposed to go to analog in. So that's how it needs to be connected. So probably I would rotate it. And then probably rotate somewhere in the middle. So let's kind of give some more space. And then I just put this one inside over here. And then this middle one needs to go to be ADC zero somewhere here. So I'll just rotate. So probably five volt connected to one line, and then another ground needs to go to ground, and this one needs to be connected to in either AD, ADC. So this one is connected like this. And in terms of wire, I have to just make it looks good. This one, I just throw this one a little bit around the microcontroller. So kind of it shows that okay, so here my variable register positioned between between VCC and ground. Then the middle line is connected to ADC zero, which is analog in zero, and LED is connected to PD three, which is analog output. But this one is so this one is simply checking electrical condition, not physical condition. And physically, okay, so we are in a quite a messy. Well, and then. Uh, do it. We need to find a good way to locate uh, this one here. So first of all, I probably need to move this one a bit away. And this one, I need to rotate to find a good position. Now, so far, I think this one looks okay because this ground is connected here. This one is five volts, this is ground, and I think this one is ADC zero. So I think this one is okay, but this one is actually ground. So I just find another way to actually locate the ground. And this one is actually ground here. So I just actually, I've tried to find another way until this one is fine, it's good position. So I just rotate. I think this one is good. But if it is both like this, I don't have like this. And what is this thing here is we lost ground, so I just reconnect the ground here. Going back to PCB. So now this one looks okay too. So this one is ADC0, this is ground, and this one is a Bible. However, we need to find a way to uh, disavoid it. So again, you probably see that even this one is quite cumbersome. And actually this one auto route is quite good when you do this one. So if I click auto route, it'll try and error and then it'll, this is the kind of so far the best solution that auto route will give you. 
So if you're kind of, if I located this one somewhere here, if you just click auto route, you will find another one. However, again, this is problematic. And the assumption is that actually this one saying that you may use two layer PCB. What if I move it somewhere here? This is quite great. So far, this is the cleanest one I see. Maybe I'll shift it. So let's see. If this one looks so far is the cleanest one I have see. Still, I need to find a way that how to avoid this cross. Then this one. So now I take this. Okay, so see, so, so far, so then. Now, only problem is uh, this one. So I would actually. Oh, now we have a problem. What the route uh, has, you probably see this orange line and yellow line. If I take a look at this one, did you see yellow line? It's not un uncontrollable. And then this one is controllable. The meaning that because I am using bottom layer only, so what I mean by this, all the orange line is is kind of assume that this auto route assume that you are using double layer. This connects to the top side. So what I would do, I just need to create another one. Now it is changed for uh, orange. And this one I have to move it back. So. I have, no, this one is okay, this one is no. So I have to connect it here. And I have to bring it. This is kind of inevitable. I would rather use LED. So now I want to find is that so actually there's a ground. This is VCC. I need ground, and this is ground. So I would rather want to actually move this one to connect somewhere here instead of using here. So here, these pins are PB7 crystal, so we cannot use it. PD5, PD5, port B. Put D5, let's just check it. So PD5 is actually PD, so it's here. So actually I can, it's a safe to move it. So it rather, I actually rather move it here. I just simply use this one instead of it. So I kind of make it a little bit cleaner. So PD5, let's see if I just connect it here. 
the ground is this one, so I rotate it. So PD bar, the gear itself, and this one is okay. And then this one, I just kind of remove it. So going back to static, I actually relocate it. LED is here. I just delete this. So connecting here. And this one is something look like this. Let's kind of find another way. This one is so yeah. So here, let's find it another way. Variable registers here, everything. This one is all the connection. So to remove it, you have to turn it on, then actually you can remove it. So so far this one I just want to delete it. Go back to bottom layer. We need to find a way to connect it. So here. So I delete it. I just delete rust and I connect to this. This one is this one. Delete this one. And then this one is so this one is the original position I like to catch it. If you cleaned up a little bit, we still have solved this kind of uh, round issue. And this one looks okay. So this is ground. So actually, I rather I just kind of delete this one. And I find another route actually better. So delete wire. So instead, I use this one here, and then I actually prefer to this one turn around it. So here, I just bring it outside. Then this, so now this one is connected outside, and this is this one we can use internal. So this is better, better. A little bit clean up this one. So we, we need to still solve this issue here. But so far, this is not so bad that everything will be fine. And I just make it thicker. Instead, actually, this one goes to actually here, but I would connect um, this ground to this ground. So to change that, I have to go here. Instead of uh, this one is ground is connected here. 
I actually shared, I just deleted this one. I would rather connect it to this one's A ground. I just connected this ground to here. So I connect here, then I change to I connect this one and this note together. By doing so, this one goes here. So now this one is cleaner. So I just make this one bigger. Everything looks okay. So, so far this one is slightly cleaned up. If I a little bit clean a little bit, I just, so this is too close. So I think so far, this is so far the uh, nicest way of doing it, probably. So yes, it is cumbersome and tricky, but so now, uh, do you want to try this? <laughs> So I just save this one as uh, this one now. I will call the second design, and this one is LED and potential meter. Okay. Oh, one missing here. What is missing? Actually, it will not work. We lost one jumper pin that connect to ground. So here, actually, this one is the ground here. So I just copy this one. Okay, so this one now have it. So now I have to move it somewhere here. And then I just connect these two. Then I said, so this one is VCC. This one is ground. And it will offer provide power, but well, let's just double check the schematic. Now, this one is actually ground, so change its name. Double click, I call it this one as G and B. And ground is connected together. Five volts is connected here, VCC goes here, and this one is LED plus and LED minus. So everything looks okay. Let's clean up nice. All right, so far I think this is okay. I don't know whether I, line, I can line up here a couple of times. Okay. All right, so once it is done, so this is basically our circuit. And then let's just check the size of this. So this one shape is 38. So I change it to 40 and this one 50. Just to make it easier to remember. And then here, now we are going to export it. So here, I, once I select export, it will ask you to a folder. So I just say this one is PCB uh, design. So I just need to make Folder first, so I say folder PCB, and I select it and save it. Then it will save a bunch of a lot of files, and let's take a look at it. Then if you go to PCB, it has actually a lot of files, but when you check it, this will only have a PDF file. And let's take a look at this. So let's say that it's called some, something called uh, something is called etching. And then copper button, top bottom meter, copper top meter, mask button. So, if, so something what we need to use is actually copper button, which is this one. So what this one is used is uh, uh, what people conventional way of using it. This one they actually print this one on a film. They they kind of uh, attach those film on top of this copper face, and then they actually use. Uh, using copper uh, kind of acid, and then actually only black area will be left, 
and then y the error will be removed. And what else we need to do is actually going here, and we are going to use actually extended Gobble file. And here is Gobble file, I just place them into PCB. Okay, so then if you go to now, we see that we have drill, copper top, copper button, and copper contour. Then I'll explain how to use this four file. To use this four file, uh, what we need to use is so called flat cam. A flat cam is actually another. Uh, actually, flat cam is you can think of it as another version of eagle or to the eagle so actually you can actually design uh, your pcb board using pcb however i would rather use fritching or autodesk eagle the eagle is more professional version but for easier side fritching is okay pcb uh, flat cam is located between fritching and eagle uh, autodesk eagle so here just go to download and then you can download your latest, latest release uh, bit bucket. And then if you go here, uh, I will download. And then you can you need to take a look at this one. So flat cam beta installer txt. It will explain how to download it. And if you look at this, the one <laughs> it says that high speed link will go here. So I would rather go here. And the password is this five six six. Okay. Let's just go here and then password is was five six six five. Five six seven. And you have you have an installer here, so uh, I think this one is from Mac version. So our case, I'll just download X sixty four and download it. Double click. download. Okay, so now ah, download button is here. So once you download it, it's about about one hundred megabytes. So as you see that uh, drill is to make this drill so as, as you see, as you remember that when you when you use CNC, we separate the drill and outside profile to different use uh, to different work. So when you import drilling, you need the drill tile, and then copper button is actually the outline, and contour I will explain a little bit later. Like, Ah, you look at the technique. You can go to the technique. Ah, 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 you can go to you can go to the technique. ポストカイデンタルです。あ、見てみます。タウンチオールでのつけてよ。タウンチオールでのよしでしょ。え、ちょっと、タウンでオッケー。え、そうです。オールでした。そう、モンデイ、モンデイ、モンデイ、モンデ
we are almost there. It's time to time. And another while we are waiting. So you have two options. Yes, you can actually CNC it, you can solder it. However, uh, and then actually it's really fun to make it. So if you like to make something, I strongly recommend it. However, you can actually order online. So PCB order online. So if you have a bubble file, JLB, JLC PCB is one of the, uh, so far, most uh, widely used one. And if you just send the bubble file that we created, if you send it to, if you upload, so you can actually add a bubble file here. Upload it here and then go to PCB. And then upload this Google file. Maybe control upper button, Google file, and, and layer one. Oh, then actually, you can use layer two. And then just, and then you, the dimension is let's say 100, 100. I'm not so sure that we can have one. Oh, or just one. Let's go for file. What can I do? So, change second centimeter, control button, enter. Yep. And it's about two dollars. Yeah. So, in China, there's a factory here. Eastern port. So you can actually have, so let's say the PCB, uh, global file, let's say the single layer. So now you need a larger one, five one, and blah, 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 here, different design, a single PCB, the PCB sequence, you can select one, PCB color. And then if you do that, and then actually you can also PCB assembly means, a PCB assembly means you can order all the parts here. So what you will have, you have a Arduino like your own design PCB. That's quite awesome. And it's, it's ready to use it probably. And then it's about two dollar. Uh, the good thing is that uh, yeah, so you can have uh, so you have another option is this one. Uh, only the bad side of this one is that it takes at least. Minimum 10 days to do. So it will be delayed that much. But when you actually have a by design here, you can just reserve your piece, uh, this maker space, and you can actually finish it in one day. So that if you're urgent, you can actually make it here. But if you are if you have enough time, if, I would rather order it. And this is what I need to do for that too. Okay, so here, it's just, I just installed it, installed for all users. I accept agreement and then just install it. I just, just click next to next, next, install it. I've just installed black can. Uh, and then there are another uh, Korean independent makers who build this one for you. They are a little bit more expensive than this Chinese version. And that's it. The only difference is cost. So, uh, so I would say, PCB. This is a lot. Of, there are a lot of the Korean site. So there's also PCB online platform. So actually, you can design. So this one is a little bit faster than Chinese version, but I believe that this one's uh, twice or triple more expensive than Chinese version. So if you are, you want to hurry. Then you can actually build it here. Uh, and then if you have time, you can order the Chinese company. But if you're really urgent, if you don't have money, <laughs> use it here. Okay. So there are many, many, as you see that even standard was $3,000 versus the Chinese version was $2,000, just $2, $30, $2. That's the thing. Okay. So we did this flat camp. So now let's start flat camp. I'm highly, I don't know, no, I'm highly sure that Korean companies, they will factory here. Otherwise, we cannot be that fast. 
So this is the flat cam. Flat cam is another software. The same is similar to a fridging and uh, Autodesk uh, Eagle. So actually, you can actually design your PCB design here too. So I just bring it down. So So this is how does it look like. And then um, there are many tabs here. And then I will do file new project. Uh, actually, this one's a new project, so actually you don't need to. Uh, let's just wait a little bit. And then what we have to do is we have to import the discover file. Okay, so I just simply would uh, click this one, then actually it asks you to open a Gobble file. Then uh, just go to desktop. Okay. So now these are all Gobble files, but we don't need to use all of them. So what we are going to use is contour. But let's take a look at one at a time. So I would the first most important one is actually copper button. Which is the how this one looks like. So copper button and open. And then I just cancel it. Then actually, this is how does it look like. So this is actually what we are going to work on. And then two, so what this will do is it will route so this boundary line. So the CNC will follow the kind of the outline of it and it will kind of cut out all this path. The screen is too small, but actually, so here, as you see that this one is actually project file, and then this one is known as a uh, property. So what we will do is we select this one and double click it. Then actually, it will ask you to, what do you want to do with this global file? And what we are going to do is we are, we need to generate, we want to generate the Pass file, the CNC file that move around this silhouette. So here, uh, what we are going to do is simply you are going to click isolation routing, meaning that I call this one as called isolation because we will cut outside of it by using the isolate the inside of it. So I just click this one. Then it, it asks you that what kind of drill bit you are going to use. So like CNC. And then what we are going to do is it's, it, will, it will change very much. And it, this one known as a V bit and 0 0.1. And what we are going to use is actually this one is extremely sharp. And then uh, this one is not so expensive. However, uh, if you but this one is this, not because the material is soft, but because this it is so sharp. If you just use one, so it kind of becomes dark. People too. So now each time it actually becomes dark and dark. So at first time it will, it will be very sharp, but the more you use it, it becomes rounded. And then what it means is at the beginning of it, it will be very as sharp like this. So it will be very sharp like this, but the more you use it, it becomes like this thicker. So the thing is, since it is so sharp, it really depends on that how fresh it is, or depending on how many times you cut. It's kind of like the analog. So we will we will set this number a little bit later. But so far now I set it zero point one. So tour diameter is zero point one, and passes is one pass. And do you remember for overlap? Overlap is that the CNC. Uh, as you see that, uh, it's just, it's just like a wood CNC. When you CNC that we cut, even we cut one centimeter, we cut a little bit one at a time, one at a time. And now we said this one is, we are not really going to dip, and if it, the passes is one, and if there is overlap, it will overlap 10%. So without really changing that much, I just click apply parameters or tools. And then if you go back to here, I do it is not generating. So here, this one is isolation. 
the apply parameter. So it is done. Coming back here. So now installation routing. Oh, okay. So now, so we are here at 0 0.1, 0 0.1. We have to click this generate geometry. You can click it. Now you rather see that the red line is generated and the thing, the overlap is actually 10% outside. But I would prefer, and then this red line is generated the CNC file. And actually the, this one is the, the second one. We work, start to work with the first one and we are kind of uh, generate this one, I delete it. So what I'm going to do, I just go back to this one, double click it, it will ask about the property. I want to do isolation protein. Now here I change this one as a zero percent. Then if I regenerate it, it's still let me double check. Uh, but when you actually do that, uh, tool change and move G. Tool diameter, VTIP angle, 360, travel G, 2 millimeter, spindle speed. Travel G, 0 0.1. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to change this one from actually 0 0.1. I would do simply zero. So do you remember that? When we router, Five millimeter. What happened? We this one moved the five millimeter outside. So now what I'm going to do. So that's why this one has a space because it understand that zero point one millimeter diameter tool will cut off this boundary. But this is what we don't want. Instead, what we do is actually we change. Oh, not this one. Delete it. This is global file editor that means uh, this can actually uh, change the global file itself. But here, when I isolating it, I change this one to actually zero. So I change this one to zero vector and then generate geometry. And now it's still, uh, uh, it's still zero. This one is quick. I double click this. Isolating router. I pass this one to diameter. I change this one to 0 0.00. Enter. So now it is changed. Generate over. Still, I change to 0. Let me just double check. So this two diameter here, I think I should change here and also here. And I do it one more time. Okay, so okay, so I have to change here, and then now the red one is overlapped here. It doesn't really look nicely, but you probably see really a red line on top of it. So this is how we do that. And then here now this double file is generated, and then here now double file is the. Do you remember at the green car we use profile setting that draws the where the test line is generated. And now finally, we are going to use generate a CNC job object. So this CNC job object is actually the actual CNC file that we are going to use the route. So now uh, this one is exactly what we do for the outside. And then now another one is actually drilling. So to drill these holes, we are going to import another uh, global file, which is uh, or copper, trick button, copper. Ah, drilling is not actually bubble file. If you take a look at about it, so this is not really bubble file. 
If you take a look at about the border, the drilling is actually, there's no file name. So actually this one is known as, it is not, it's just really difficult to see. If you come here, this one, you can read it. This is known as excellent. So it's a cover file is for moving the profile link. And if you take a look at a flat file, it is said it is known as excellent. They really import those excellent files. So double, I just check here. Here, I have to change cover file to four file. And then I'll select this drill and open it. Then now you see that excellent, uh, excellent, sorry, uh, excellent. So I have to file, let's import SVG, uh, double check. Uh, this one is excellent file. So this is global file. And this one is important excellent. It said open excellent. Then I just import the drill and open it and then close it. So now you see that this excellent power is actually this brown before here. And then to use this one, actually, we need to change the drill bit to bring it to end the mill. And then if you double click this excellent, so now it will ask you to which drill you want to use. And actually, it really depends on. So now we are going to change to drill bit and put it to look like it just looks like this. And then so this is the one of the drill bit that we are going to use. And actually, this one is actually not the one with the end pin is almost like the diameter is actually. Uh, 3.175. So this one is actually 16 millimeters, 16 inch, probably. I know, actually, the 3.175 is actually the body diameter. This one's 3 millimeters. And then this one is actually 1, 0 0.5 millimeters. But we have a lot of parts for a variety of things. So I'll set this one as. Uh, Excellent editor. We are changing, we are going to set drilling tools. And then here we are going to change the diameter number one. So, and then the first one is 0 0.1.04. No, the drill number is uh, three. I change this one to, so cut G, drill over G, fit rate, spindle. So let's just go back here. Transform drilling tool. Drilling tool is here. Generate sense job. Search TV. So we are going to change this drill bit. Uh, trouble G is here. The ones that generated after this one, actually we are using 104. I will check how to change this one a little bit later. But this one is actually, this one move it around it and it will kind of drill about it. Uh, something I need to, uh, the, one of the reasons that this only shows three is that I think that the same issue with the router, the drill bit is larger than the whole that itself. So we need to change it, which doesn't really work that here. Let me see. So this one is second stage job, I deleted. Let me see, double on your excellent editor tool. Milling, okay, here is milling, milling diameter. Okay, so I have to check this on milling through. I changed this one to 0 0.5. See that. Then, enter. Drilling geometry, drilling diameter. 
The building failed at 0 0.5. Truman School. January 6th in town. Axel, I think I'm supposed to change here, but it doesn't work. I will check, I will check but once it generated, it will work on a drill bit. So actually, so this will work like this. And then for at the last, we need to import the control file. So here, this control file is simply the outside of it. So here, once that wants to bring it, this one is the, actually the outside. So, but this one is actually, you are going to, so unlike this PCB, this one, we are only simply copying the one, only 0 0.1 of the thickness out of it. But this control is actually, we are going to cut out this whole pattern. So this one is very similar to uh, the cutting. So actually, this one is the measure of cutting. So from the control is actually cutting the boundary of it. And when you use a simple bar, I have the one other bad thing is we are using very thin drill browser bit. Even we see, see that when we cut something 3D cutting, this one will take a longer time. So the cutting boundary is like quite longer than cutting this inside. So if it is simply bar, normally I do this. I just kind of pick it out and just use the slide on this one that's already like in one meter. But still, we need to use that. When we use it, is that you have to that for somehow your outside the design of, let's say that you want to effectively match, let's say that you are going to design some watch or wear, and then the kind of case of this. PCB design is kind of something called the body control. So your PCB is not a control. Your PCB is something designed for body shape of it. Then this outline of the shape is exactly fit inside of 3D printed shape. Then actually, we need to use this control. So control is like this and relatively it's a simple. So here uh, we see uh, this one is actually the control one. Yeah, control one, and then I just double click this. And it's the same thing with like, this one is also uh, generate, this one is also known as isolating. But when you do that, you are going to use, instead of 0 0.1, you are going to use something a little bit thicker and to cut out. And then once you generate it, then actually, yes, then this one will kind of cut out of it. But this one is not so sophisticated. So, now oh, you are going through three passes, which is uh, the inside of circuit, which is isolation and drilling by the control. Uh, you will be ready. And something really interesting, which probably I will cover after finishing this one, is that is this one. Imagine you want to design something. Well, and this one, I don't know how we start to go. Uh, instead of using PCB boards, one other option is using copper tape. Copper tape is binary. And then to, and if you, you use that one, but the process is the same thing. However, uh, instead of using the Roland PCB machine, we are going to use binary. So this would be binary cutter. You can design a PCB. PCB binary cutter, and actually you can make a flexible. So this is the same thing, but by using binary cutter. Uh, and then actually, since copper tape is very thin, you can attach on a transparent film like this. And then now you can make a well. And this is very interesting. The difficulty of this one is like three times harder than the PCB tape. One of the main reasons is uh, taking off 
from comfort tape and moving back to another one. And this one was what I made before. So, Yeah, so this is what I made. Do you see how many times I failed? It was so painful at the time. And eventually I made the two. That feels very good. I don't know. Um, I think that over whether you feel good or bad is uh, how difficult you have to make the process. Uh, that make you really excited, I think. So this is what I made. And this one is, as you see that, I use a different uh, microcontroller chip. And I press this, 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 this per button, this per in. And actually this one's LED is a distal output. Uh, and then this one is a PCB version, and this is binary computer version. So, uh, but however, this one, because uh, considering the difficulty, I, I, I believe that this one I spent more than 30 hours, 20 to 30 hours in working. So, so NIT Media Labs project, they almost did sound like a, uh, 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 the difference between MIT Media Labs project and this course is that MIT Media Labs have to finish at least one project per week, which will take. 10 hours to 20 hours. Uh, so, video lab students spend a lot of time to make one thing to finish to submit every week of the project, which I don't really, uh, I don't really want to press you to do that. Otherwise, you will not take this class. <laughs> so, only the difference between MIT video lab discourse is the students make really every week. Uh, this one is just introductory. But, uh, I, my recommendation is that, and then also these are more assembly parts, not the real thing, so which is more difficult than uh, this one. Uh, so, but this week is just optional, so uh, uh, that's it for today. And I still recommend for you to do this, but you may not uh, during the semester, so after finishing the semester, during the summer vacation of your time, just visit here and then Okay, that's it for today. Um, and the extra uh, really one is it's just like the CNC machine in the new bank. You just press button and run through it. That's pretty much that's it for today. Any questions?